In Masonic symbolism and tradition, King Solomon's chair holds significant importance. According to Masonic law, King Solomon, the biblical king of Israel known for his wisdom, oversaw the construction of the first temple in Jerusalem. The chair represents the seat of authority and wisdom, often symbolizing leadership, justice and enlightenment. In Masonic lodges, the master's chair, also known as the worshipful master's chair, is referred to as King Solomon's chair. It is typically placed in the center of the lodge room, elevated to signify the authority of the worshipful master, who presides over lodge meetings and ceremonies. The symbolism of King Solomon's chair in Masonic lodges reflects the values of wisdom, leadership and moral guidance, drawing on the biblical narrative and historical significance of King Solomon as a revered figure in Freemasonry. In Kabbalistic tradition, King Solomon is often depicted as a master of mystical wisdom, including the study and understanding of Kabbalah. According to Kabbalistic law and later mystical interpretations, King Solomon's wisdom was attributed to his deep understanding of the divine and his ability to commune with angelic beings. One popular legend in Kabbalistic literature involves Solomon receiving his wisdom and knowledge directly from God, who granted him insight into the secrets of the universe, including the mystical teachings of Kabbalah. Another aspect of this legend suggests that Solomon acquired his understanding of Kabbalah through divine revelation and personal meditation, often depicted in Kabbalistic texts as dialogues with angelic beings or encounters with divine manifestations. Additionally, some Kabbalistic sources attribute the authorship of certain texts, such as the Sefer Yetzirah, Book of Creation, to King Solomon. These texts are foundational in Kabbalistic thought, and are believed to contain mystical teachings and insights into the nature of creation. While the historical accuracy of these legends is debatable, they serve to highlight King Solomon as a symbol of wisdom and spiritual insight in Kabbalistic tradition, linking him with the mystical teachings of Kabbalah through legendary narratives and symbolic interpretations of biblical texts. The idea that Kabbalah was taught to the Jewish people by fallen angels is a belief found in certain mystical and esoteric traditions, particularly within some Kabbalistic texts and interpretations. According to this belief, fallen angels, often referred to as watchers or Grigori in certain texts, descended to earth and imparted forbidden knowledge, including the secrets of Kabbalah, to select individuals among the Jewish people. These fallen angels were said to have rebelled against God and were cast out of heaven, but they retain knowledge of divine mysteries. In some mystical traditions, particularly those influenced by apocryphal and pseudepigraphic texts like the Book of Enoch, fallen angels are depicted as intermediaries between the divine and human realms, transmitting esoteric teachings to humanity. This transmission of knowledge, although forbidden, was believed to empower individuals with spiritual insight and understanding beyond conventional human comprehension. The concept of fallen angels teaching Kabbalah serves to underscore the mysterious and transcendent nature of Kabbalistic wisdom, attributing its origins to divine revelation and supernatural encounters.